Hello, my name is Tom Truxton. I'm one of the assisting pastors here at the bridge, and this is my beautiful wife, Margaret. I'm going to read 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. Husbands, likewise, dwell with them with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel, as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers may not be hindered. So living with your wife with understanding involves mutual submission. Living with your wife is something that uh, takes practice. Uh, Paul mentions in Corinthians about um, being content is also something that he had to learn. So living and being submissive to one another is a, a valuable thing to learn in a, in a healthy marriage relationship. Submission is a responsibility of a Christian husband as well as the wife. And a believing husband must also learn to submit to the loving duty of being sensitive to the needs, fears, and feelings of his wife. The word duty, that's just fun to say, isn't it? <laughs> in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, it brings up three C's that we're going to touch on. Peter specifically notes consideration, chivalry, and companionship. So here are the three C's. The first one being considerate. Understanding speaks of being sensitive to your wife's deepest physical and emotional needs. In other words, be thoughtful and respectful. Uh, basically, you know the golden rule. Treat her as you would like to be treated and things will go a whole lot smoother in your marriage. Remember you are to nourish and cherish her as well. In Ephesians chapter 5, there are several verses that can really speak to this, verses 25 through 28, uh, but I'm just going to read verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. So there's a lot packed into that one verse right there. Uh, and, you know, loving your wife as Christ loved the church, wow, that's a, that's a big uh, accomplishment right there if you think you can do that. Next, how many times has your wife maybe said to you, well, my husband doesn't understand me. He doesn't talk to me as much as I'd like him to. He doesn't know how I feel or he doesn't know what I'm thinking. Um, such insensitivity, if that's going back and forth between you and your spouse, uh, can build up walls in your marriage. So you have to be real careful about that type of communication. Make it your business to know your wife. And again, I encourage you to step out and do this on your date night, February 12th. And then the second C, we're going to talk about chivalry. Chivalry, by God's design, a wife is to be the special object of her husband's love and care. And as a weaker vessel, she is under his authority and his protection. And that's very important to be under your husband's protection. Being weaker, as the scripture was saying in verse 7, doesn't mean weaker spiritually or intellectually but primarily and possibly physically a weaker since the term here is referring to the human body. It's not a negative thing for a woman to be a weaker vessel. In making the man stronger, God designed a wonderful partnership. And one way a husband can protect and provide for his wife is to practice chivalry. I mean, whatever happened to the custom of opening up your car door for your wife and looking for ways to be courteous that you know she will definitely appreciate. And the third C is called um, companion. Giving honor is another way of saying treat your wife with respect. Um, while grace of life is a reference to marriage, grace simply means a gift. And one of the best gifts life has to offer is marriage. And when Peter tells us to respect as a fellow heir of the grace of life, he is commanding husbands to respect their wives as equal partners in this relationship, in your marriage. Um, another way to win her to Christ is to cultivate the companionship and the friendship. Um, that necessitates sharing your life with her and developing mutual interests. And just think about the things that you can do together. And that's what the February 12th date night is for. So these are just more than casual suggestions. Why? Because according to Peter, your applying them has a direct bearing on how your prayers could be answered. And a Christian husband's spiritual relationship with God is directly affected by the way he treats his life. So I'd encourage you to respect your wife in all aspects and your marriage is just going to be so much the better. <laughs>